files and directory management in this video i will show you how you can create files and directory how you can copy and move files to the different directories and we will also discuss about how we can remove files and directory and how we can see the present working directory status using pwd command so let's begin so use pwd command to show the present working directory you can see i am logged in with normal user so it is representing dollar sign if you want to switch to the root user super user use su command and give password of super user root user you can see still i am on slash home user one because only su command does not load proper environment profile environment of a root user so see if i am using logout command it's not work i have to use exit to log out from a root but if i am use if i use a uh, su space or uh, hyphen and then it will again ask for super user password but you can see i am on my home directory means it display the home directory of a root user slash root is a home directory of a root means when you use hyphen dash with su command it's low the profile fully of the user so let me use logout command again and it's working so you can use mkdir command to create a directory so create directory one using mkdir to come from directory is created or not using ls command you can see dir1 is created list dir1 nothing you can create multiple directory using hyphen p option like dir2 dir3 dir4 it will create dir2 directory and dir3 directory will create into dir2 same dir4 directory created will create into dir3 so list dir2 list dir3 you can see multiple directory created using mkdir you can also create directory like mkdir or dir5 dir dir6 and dir7 directory is created dir5 dir6 dir7 you can delete blank directory using rmdir command you star star means any so it will delete all the directory that is start with dir you can see i am not able to delete dir2 because dir2 is a not a empty you can see using ls command so if you want to delete directory dir2 use rm hyphen rf command then dir2 it will delete directory recursively r stands for recursively f stands for forcefully let me create directory again using 
mkdir command and delete using only rm space hyphen r and dir2 directory is created sometime it ask for confirmation like do you want to remove or not so create a blank file using touch command it will create blank file if you want to copy this blank file into dir2 use cp command blank one is available on current directory in slash home slash usa1 and also available in dir2 you can also list using slash home user1 dir2 you can also list using dir2 so when path start with slash it's known as absolute path when path does not start with slash it's known as relative path you can see dir2 is available in slash home slash user1 and we are already present into user1 so we don't need slash because if you use slash it will list slash directory slash is a root directory of the operating system it contain different different directories like bean boot dev etc home media mnt opt proc root run srv sbin sys usr and var etc store all the configuration files of the operating system boot store system booting files to load the operating system slash dev directory stores device information bin store binary information of the normal user means binary command information of the uh, normal users sbin store super users command information media store media information like cd or dvd if you install any third party software it will store into opt normal users home directory will store it in slash home operating system library file will be stored in lib and lib64 all the dynamic files created during system booting up process store the files running files into slash run slash root is home directory of a root user running process stored in a proc directory temporary files of this system is stored in tmp dynamic information like website information logs information will stored in a var directory so it is very important to know about this file system hierarchy of a linux so if you want to list boot directory use slash and then boot because boot directory stored into slash so it will list the boot directory so same you are in slash home slash user1 so if you want to list slash home directory use ls slash home so now let me move blank one directory to the other location to use mv command 
blank blank one move into document folder of this user ls blank one is removed to the it's moved to the document folder of the user one now you can check type of a file using file command documents and blank one blank one is a empty file let me add some content using greater redirection option use cat greater than define the path of a file and type something and save using control plus d d for dog control plus control plus d and then check again use exclamatory and file it will run history command that start with a file so file type is ascii text you can use history command to see history of commands run by user so you can see ls command 342 if you want to run ls space less home use exclamation and 342 number it will run ls space less home linux has also features of tab completion like use a pas into terminal and give tab one time nothing use another time uh, sorry second time it will show you all the command that start with uh, all the content they start with a pass so use next character of the content if you if you will use t and then you tab again it will complete with paste if you use u and give tab again it will complete with pass us pa suspender if you use s and give tab it will complete with pass wd so you can use tab completion to work with linux easily uh, if you want to see file type of uh, slash etc pass wd it will show you information about it slash etc pass wd stores a uh, user's information of the operating system you can same use uh, like a where log messages it will show the file type of a slash where slash log messages you can see a uh, begin a uh, 10 beginning line of the file using head command it will show 10 line of beginning for this slash where slash log message we are not able to see because we don't have a right to see slash where slash log message so you can use su command to switch into root root can do anything use head and slash where log messages it will show first 10 line of this file you can also use tail command to see last 10 line of this file or uh, let me create one file file name will be number 
and I typed something and save using control plus D you can see content of the file using only cat command it will show the content of the file so let me use head command oh, sorry let me append another content into file save using control D so if you want to append use double greater than single greater than will replace the content so use head command and then give file name it will show first 10 line of this file use tail command it will show last 10 line of this file you can also use option hyphen n and define number of line that you want to see for number file it will show five lines of a number file same you can use with tail command last three line of this file So you can remove file using rm command. It will ask, do you want to remove this file? No. If you want to remove forcefully, it will not ask anything like yes or no. Let me list first number is available and let me remove forcefully using hyphen f option it will not ask for remove it will not confirm so you can use help using command then space hyphen hyphen help it will show help of the command like hyphen f use for force hyphen i prompt before every removal it will ask you do you want to remove or not same you can use with mkdir hyphen hyphen help command will work with every command of a linux if you want to see all help scroll up and scroll down if you do not want to scroll up or down use pipe and then use less command means this command output will become input of this command pipe means it will translate output of this command to input of this command so you can see over here use up and down arrow to read properly use q for quiet from this command so thank you for watching this video